In 2019, a crack esport unit was cancelled by Twitter for a hate crime they didn't commit. These men promptly started a podcast from a maximum security Discord server to the deep web. Today, still wanted by furries, they survive as podcasters. If you are bored, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can listen to the official podcast. Jesus. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Episode 137. Was. Whatever it that is, I don't know. That was excellent. I love that. Yeah. Kai is really getting to the theatrical side of podcasts. Yeah. I, I really <laughs> like it. I, I love the little shit that we work in there. Kai has amped up it's the great. entire production. <laughs> don't say we. This is just Kai. <laughs> That's a little Hey, we, we give don't him, try we give to like lead-ins. siphon credit there. Hey, we give them lead-ins. We bring up the 9-11 conspiracy. When did we ever bring we, up the A-team? We, we bring <laughs> up the 9-11 conspiracies so that he can play Charlie's soundboard on it. We give him the fuel. And That's he's the true. Fire. That was a perfectly... That was such a good play-by-play, play, not play-by-play, play. what is it called? Like, symbiotic? We were in sync, is what I'm trying to say. Like yeah, the yeah. Synergy. In, good synergy. Synergy. Yes, synergy. thank you. Perfect. I was gonna bring up that fucking kaiju movie again where they sync their brains. Oh, Pacific Rim. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's Pacific it. Rim, yeah. So, yeah. first topic, I don't care what if you guys have topics or not this time around, we have well, to wait, talk wait, about Kaya, this. Maybe, uh, maybe turn the music down a little bit if you're okay. doing metal, because it's kind of, yeah. All right, Sorry. go ahead. That's okay. We have to talk about this. Our subreddit <laughs> has been bombarded by this meme, Charlie. What the fuck is going on with your legs? Why am I seeing I... your legs everywhere? So apparently people have never seen their own legs from a side profile. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that, and I'm not like a big guy myself either. So the fact that my legs aren't big or fat makes it look anorexic. And I'm in the shower, so all the hair is matted down. And I just have to, you know, they're not the most muscular of legs, but they are kind of, they're pretty muscular from a front view. From the side, <laughs> of course, it's going to look like ass. Like wouldn't my dad. Look, wouldn't it look thicker from the side? No. Because why would it look probably, thicker from the probably side? Probably not, but the I don't know if that's a good excuse don't... either. No, it's yeah, not an excuse. What... I'm just saying they're not like anorexic gas chamber legs or anything. I, everyone's <laughs> legs from a side profile are extremely thin. My dad is 220 and his legs are just very barely thicker than mine. Okay, dad, let's, or, Andrew, you've met my dad. You know. Maybe we should have explained this. Charlie, you made some sort of a video. You showed your legs, mm -hmm. naked legs. And ever since then, since that moment that your video was published, our subreddit has become multiple memes. I checked out the comment section just out of curiosity, and it's just people calling you an Auschwitz survivor. I know. Because of how <laughs> Char skinny you are. Charlie, I, uh, I got Twitter DMs legitimately concerned over your health <laughs> and asking if you had muscular issues. <laughs> Jackson, take a picture of your legs from the side. Andrew, you do the same. Kaya, your legs are built a little differently, but both of you have just as skinny oh, legs, especially legs? Jackson. No, no, I do not uh, have uh, just as skinny legs as I, that. I, I, mean, I can on. take a photo. Hang on, don't skip the, the important parts here. How do you know what my legs look like? Because you're like a muscular freak of nature, Kaya. You came no, when not. you came to America. You were pumping like two twenty five reps without ever having touched the bench. Like you're like a genetic specimen. That is not fair of you to say at all. I, yeah, I have never touched the bench, but I do my push ups. Pussy. But yeah, <laughs> take okay. a picture. Charlie, of your legs. I think I think the problem with your legs is that they have a completely cyl cylindrical straight profile. Like your most people musculature, they jut out a bit where your calves are and stuff. Yours just go up. They well, just go straight up. Do you notice my knees aren't in the picture? It's because I stretched it out they to are. hide that I was wearing pants in the pa in the uh, shower because I didn't want my cock out because I figured it'd show a reflection or even on the screen. You could have worn just boxer shorts. You didn't have to put on pants. Well, when I say pants, I'm referring to boxers. Could have put on tidy whities What does that have to do with I anything? I stretched yeah. the image out. The aspect ratio, I stretched it up. Oh, that's why your knees look... Yeah. Your legs look deformed. You did this to yourself. There you go. I was just about to say, that's the excuse you just should have used from the start. You well, no, said, my oh, legs are I'd... still very skinny. Oh, okay. uh, everyone's see, legs okay, are You're bombing your own ship here. You're kamikaze uh, okay. in your own cause. Well, no, no now, that I, now that I see it, because I, I see his legs literally every other day in person because we work out, and I, I from the video and the screenshots, I went, that just, 
something's off from all the pictures people are sending me. Now, if you're, yeah, if you stretch the aspect ratio, then it's absolutely 100% your fault why it looks so awkward and terrible. Yeah, well, yeah okay, no so why are you defending a stretched, manipulated image of your legs as this is normal? It's what yeah, it's it is. Like. Everyone's legs are skinny. They literally not that are. skinny. Well, not maybe that not to skinny. that degree, but it's only because my thigh is just as skinny because it's stretched. But even still, the le everyone's legs from the side are very skinny by default. The body doesn't store fat down there very well. I, I mean, I, I don't no, know. I don't know about that. It's just so weird. I don't know why you're defending it. It's like if someone photoshopped your face on a cow's body and you're like, well, everyone's body's naturally kind of heavy and, you know, has black and white spots. And it's like, obviously <laughs> fake. Tell, well, that's, just that's tell a us all it's fake. Yeah. That's a little different. <laughs> but why is your yeah, first reaction on. to defend skinny legs and not to go, oh, I stretched the fucking image? Well, because I think people are hypocritical. They've never seen their own legs and now they're afraid of a real man's legs. <laughs> but those aren't even your real legs. They are my real legs. It's just a bit stretched. Okay. How much stretched? How stretched are Hold we on. talking I'll, here? I'll drop the original real quick. Uh -oh. <laughs> what do you mean the original? The, what? Uh, also, Charlie, the you have the to... Unaltered. Charlie, tell us, Charlie, tell us the truth. And I, and I mean this, and I'm not saying this to be mean. You didn't stretch it because you were wearing pants. You stretched it because you wanted to look taller, didn't you? No, I'm wearing pants and they sagged down because they got water. Well, I'm wearing boxers and they sagged down because they got waterlogged. Yeah, see, the original photo, it, it looks way better. Here. It makes a lot more sense. Where do you send Wait, it? Wait, where is it? Yeah, I don't see anything. I haven't, I haven't sent the, the original. No, I haven't sent it. Well, someone compressed your original image and it already looks way more human. Yeah, well, okay, that is way stretched on the horizontal plane. That's not normal either. That's fair. Hold on. Just give me a second. I got to reopen the file. <laughs> We're going to have to put these images in the episode so that people can see. This is a I fucking mean, conspiracy you, you'll be able to see theory. The, yeah, the okay. Stretched out you know what, just, just go anywhere on the subreddit. Yeah, let's not go picture hunting, Charlie. Point is, you stretched your legs to look taller, whether you meant to or not. Is that your official response to the to no this thing. i didn't stretch them to look taller i stretched them to hide my boxers here just put it on screen that video to be taller than what you are well <laughs> yeah but not there because the illusion wait, is wait, that i'm yeah. naked in the shower that doesn't wait that doesn't make any goddamn sense why would why? stretching the video make it look like you're naked you're all you're doing is taking your lower half of your leg and making it try to look like your whole leg and that's that is worse charlie what are you yeah, talking that's about that's even worse <laughs> so oh, charlie <laughs> Yeah, this is prove the whole thing. This proof, and it's it's the same. I can't tell the difference. Oh, you're right, because I dropped the same one. Hold also, on. wait, if the whole illusion is that you're naked in the shower, why are you wearing shoes and socks? Because the idea is I never take them off, so I shower naked with them. <laughs> oh, so the shoes make you taller. This is so yeah. elaborate. What do you what mean? It's not true. Maybe, it's not like maybe, wait, so how do these shoes work? Is that the heel? Yeah, that's the heel of you. So you're like, they're kind of like high heels, right? Yeah, yeah that, that exactly. was the joke of the video, but it has nothing to do with his legs looking like celery sticks. Well, it could right. be. It, maybe your leg gets skinnier if you arch it up like that. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, no, your, calves get thicker. your calves compress, but that's about Not, it. not by that, that much. much. They don't turn yeah. you into a praying mantis. Well, now I can't this find the actual video. All I have oh, is the Oh, isn't that just image. a coincidence? Oh. Hey, guy, you said you have some footage of Bigfoot. Could we see it? Uh, uh, I seem to have misplaced it. Uh, I'm okay. just going to send it from my phone. Yeah, sure. Imagine if Bigfoot had legs like that. That'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be way better. <laughs> Skinny, hairless legs. It's just Charlie. Hairless? Bigfoot Charlie. I... I was I mean, this is just so baffling. Oh, oh I you're I saying the Bigfoot? Yeah. Well, yeah. If you're, you <laughs> are you framed? taking everything as a personal insult? <laughs> yeah. <now? laughs> no, I'm coming out on Man, the offensive. There's well, just so many better ways you could have filmed this other than making yourself look like a literal mutant. <laughs> I, I don't think they look that jarring. Again, you everyone's legs are super skinny. You didn't even have to do your legs. You could have just done like from your below your knee and just been like, yeah, you know, and shot the shot from there. You didn't have to go. Oh, by the way, my my entire legs are uncovered, you know, in case the implication wasn't clear. It's just I guess so maybe. weird. Maybe it's the size. of. The, I'm trying to figure out why it's so like disorientating. Maybe it's the size <laughs> of the shoes as well that make this giant <laughs> foot. And then this. Yeah. Like, 
thin leg above that, it. Maybe it's that. Point. I don't know. I don't know. Well, wait a minute. Did you really thing, stretch it? Because the, the bottle of shampoo and shit on the side look normal. No, because my pants sagged down. That has nothing so I, to do with what well, I Well, no, that's why, I, that's why I stretched it. So if you don't see the pants in the photo, it's because I stretched it. Or if you catch a glimpse, it's because I didn't do a great job. You blame well, your pants for a lot. You're the only one. Well, but yeah. I'm, I'm confused how you stretch the image if the tiles I, are proportionally the same. I think this... I. I can see my pants in this one, so I'm going to assume I haven't altered this. And this looks normal to me, so I'm just going to go, I'll defend this one. I think this one's unaltered, but it's hard to know here. I'm dropping it in the general. <laughs> it's like super blurred. You can see where he stretched out his legs just <laughs> then in Photoshop. That looks the same. I don't think that looks the same. You can see my pants. Yeah, okay, I mean in, in terms of size. These are somebody needs to post the post these to our subreddit so the general public can see the comparison and I guess we can have people vote on whether this is better or not. I mean I, sure I, I wanna unaltered. I wanna I wanna label this up though to bad photography because I've seen your legs in person and they they never once struck me as anything odd, but these photos, <laughs> there's just they, they rub me the wrong way. They're like those fucking I, creepy I, I, I genuinely photos. want you and Jackson to take a side profile of your legs right now. How often do you guys take a full leg shot? All legs never. are super skinny on the profile side. I'm What's telling profile, you right now. Like looking at it side. from the side? Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Here, I guess. I'm I crossing know. my leg right now into my lap and I am uploading it. How the fuck? What? That's not what I'm saying. You have to be standing. That's well, like how the fuck am I going to take a photo of that? Do you not have a mirror? Like a full body mirror or anything like that? Not a full body one. If you want Juliana me to leave the doesn't? podcast episode and go to the <laughs> fucking bathroom and do it. Or I guess ask my girlfriend. But I mean, yeah, I'm not going to do that. You could just right stand and have Juliana take it. And then Kaya can do that and have a uh, cure. Er, stop. I met Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Jackson, your girlfriend. I do have skinny legs, though, and I will admit that. Everyone's legs are skinny. Yeah, I think mine are pretty good. All you had to do to dispel this was you fucked up the aspect ratio. But yeah, instead, but even still. You know what I think? Even still, you know, legs if, are skinny. If you're a oh, fan of the official the podcast, channel. put your photos of your calves from a profile oh. on our No, not your calves. No, it, no. Has to be, it has to be thighs and down. I don't even okay, want thighs that. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, you know what I meant. Oh, well, Jackson, that's cheating. I can take a photo like that right now and it'll look the same. Your knee's bent and you're sitting down. Here's my leg. Okay, down. enough. We're talking about images too much. I'm putting an embargo on this. Not an embargo, a ban. All right, this is the last one because Jackson's just uploaded Fine. a really dumb one that makes no sense. Oh, I don't. I'm not getting. I'm not getting up to take a new photo for you. That'll have to do. <laughs> yeah. I guess this is all incentivizing you all to sign up for our Patreon and look at these no. live. It's probably too much. Yeah, either that or just turning <laughs> off the podcast entirely. <laughs> okay, we'll um, get the editor to Charlie. Cut I can I can throw another back. controversy at you uh, that has something to do with you if you want to uh, defend yourself on that front. Sure. Is it a? I think I have a guess, but go ahead. No Ooh, guess. I know what it is. Is it political? Ooh. <gasps> You or should I say shit it Charlie, cool? why are you now an alt-right mouthpiece? Hmm? Dude, I know. I, I've been used <laughs> like a fleshlight by the alt-right. I've been what? indoctrinated. Explain Ex the situation oh. for Drop them deets. anyone who doesn't know. I made a video in, in response, albeit probably not the best response, to extra credits. If you play Counter-Strike as terrorists, you're a terrorist, and Nazis in video <laughs> games make you a Nazi video. And the point I was making in the video is the internet's increasing outrage at politics in video games if it doesn't match what they want or if it's not a political game in general people whine on the internet about it and i thought mm -hmm. that was unhealthy to the gaming environment and then the hero youtubers and streamers like destiny trihex and vosh all blatantly misrepresented my talking points to make it sound like i thought video games shouldn't ever cover politics and should be nothing but rainbows or something just a blatant misconstruing right. of everything I said. 
So and that the last guy, Vosh, made an hour long video droning on, sentence sniping <laughs> every word, literally stops every three seconds to interject some lame ass attempt at humor or an insult, and it's insufferable. And that's okay. just it's been frustrating. So people I only saw this because somebody posted it to our subreddit, a an image of another subreddit. I don't know what it's called. It's like it's called the uh, Donald for yeah. gamers gaming circle jerk. Yeah, that one. Something like that's that. That's where yeah. I saw it. And I went on it. So this happens once or twice a year at this point. I've gotten used to it. Once or twice a year, Charlie, you make a video that is mildly, very mildly not politically correct. <laughs> and I guess it is the unwritten fourth rule of the thermodynamics of the universe that whenever somebody criticizes you, I get credit for manipulating you to the alt-right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Every time. When you make a video that I had nothing to do with, that I didn't even know about until people started telling me about it, I get credit for brainwashing you. Because you've poisoned him. He was innocent yeah. before he met you. Yeah, See, he never had is, opinions before be he pissed. met you, Kaya. I would be pissed, but at least in this aspect, I'm the Darth... Like the dark Sith Lord that's corrupting the young, whatever, the, the Jedi, right? I'm like still the smart mm. guy, whereas Charlie in this situation is the oaf. The dumbass <laughs> who doesn't have his own opinions. <laughs> the dipshit yeah. who had... What, how old are you now? What, 25, 26? And he still doesn't, you know, he just says, he just repeats whatever his friends tell him. You're that guy. I feel like if I was in your situation, I would be much angrier. I mean, there's only so many times you can listen to someone say something so uneducated and like no research behind it before you just disregard the whole thing. It's entertaining. Exactly. I mean, kind of like reading it. It would I mean, be entertaining if it wasn't an hour long video of a humorless personality list champion of incels looking motherfucker. I could only oh, yeah, sit I mean, through like the first 30 minutes. Yeah, I mean, like oh, the you didn't even comments. hear his best arguments then. Uh, you mean his arguments where he says I'm afraid of black people for some reason? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, such intelligent arguments. <laughs> how he derived that from my video is beyond me. How did he get, yeah, how did he get that? I from have a, no fucking video idea. about video games. I, I is... genuinely couldn't tell you. The mental gymnastics that fucking ogre goes through in that video is unreal. <laughs> Dude, it is just... It's amazing. I don't know. It used to be novel to me. This ramped up over the course of the years of you and me knowing each other. But especially this podcast, there's there were so many comments going, uh, what is wrong with this podcast? You guys I haven't listened to it. And then somebody else telling this guy what his opinion should be, because I guess the three of us are Nazis. And then Charlie became a Nazi because he hung out with us <laughs> at the Nazi rallies. Oh, God. Yeah. What a shame. I was having fun. I don't know. I, I like reading that sort of stuff. Maybe it's because I'm an asshole. I like anger. They just don't understand that there's this thing called time and, and people change, <laughs> you know, these simple concepts because <laughs> they go, you know, I miss Charlie from like eight years ago when he was doing that same thing. Why doesn't he do that Real now? Dude. Why? Why doesn't he just make the same exact videos he made eight years ago? Because you know, people you guys don't never stop to think maybe maybe Charlie's the one manipulating us into being <laughs> Nazis. <laughs> I'm the puppet oh. master. Well, I was always a Nazi, so I'm not afraid. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Watch out, Andrew. Well, Vosh is already getting ready on his stream. Oh no, who? I converted to <laughs> Nazism the first day I met Charlie. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was such a coincidence. <laughs> I, I remember I was I was talking to him on Xbox Live. We were playing Call of Duty and he said, hey, man, if you ever get a minute, just I got a book you really should read. And well, one mind comp later and you'll it's never guess what Germany. happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, How dude, could I not the, see the signs? <laughs> here's this super cool symbol on this armband that I found. You should put it on. You want you want to learn our secret handshake? You'd like extend your hand out at the 45 degree angle upwards and you say, Z Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> God, that shit is always fun. It still happens once a year at the minimum, and I get all the credits for it, which is kind of <laughs> yeah. fun. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> the lore book behind Kai is immense. Yeah, it's it's just this never-ending train of people not 
I don't know, being able to see beyond a fucking surface level because they go, you know, I, I'll bet you he's just ready to get rid of Kaya because you can see Kaya's evil influence has been corrupting him. <laughs> and it's very, very sad. I, I'll bet you any day now. And it's like, what, they, you guys have been friends for like six, seven years now. <laughs> like, yeah, that's going to happen real soon. Let me tell you. He's a new entity that's slowly fucking wormed in. Jesus, you're so dumb. <laughs> Well, I guess that's oh, yeah. just a case of fans thinking that they know the personality more than exactly uh, like the people in their actual friend circle do. They do it all the fucking time. It's why they run with this stuff. They assume they know all these details that they don't. So they just make it up to fit what they want to hear. Charlie's such a beautiful, precious and amazing, perfect boy. He would never, ever befriend someone who maybe kind of disagrees with me on stuff ever. No, please. <laughs> the fucking comments, man, it's. It's both fun and boring. I don't know if you guys have the same feeling where sometimes you look at social media and you get bored. If it's something that you think you could make in, in a hundred line script, synthesize these comments because at some point they're just all the same. Just like Twitter, right? Because on Twitter, almost every comment at this point is like, oof, yikes, this ain't it, chief. Not a goat. Look, you can do better. Educate yourself. And I look at it, this isn't fun. Like, where are the two paragraph meltdowns of the good old days? Come on, try a little harder if you're going to get angry at me. Those paragraphs now go into YouTube videos and Twitch streams. Yeah. They don't write so it they, out anymore. They don't have the so time. They can, or they uh, don't oh, they absolutely it's, write it out. Are you guys kidding me? I see so many Twitter rants. What are you talking about? It's mostly so they can interject ad breaks in as many places as they can on them and on Twitch so they can get sub bombs and all that stuff because they're, uh, you know, as as everyone will always put it, you're you're the only one saying this truth, man. You're the only guy who's the, uh, not afraid to talk about this stuff. Have 10, Hashtag 20 facts. gift subs, 30 gift subs. Thank you. You're so enlightened and yeah, God, it's all it's all just money making. It's all attention and money making. I guess the the one type of comment in this situation, the thread somebody linked it to me is when somebody says, "Oh, you know, Charlie says he he doesn't like politics, but then again, this video is political, isn't it?" <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> it it's like if, if you grabbed the kid, yeah. started punching him, and went like, "Why are you punching yourself? Why are you punching yourself? You're making it." You're having these ridiculous Twitter threads talking about how cyberpunk needs to be cancelled and banned for... I don't even know what the fuck. And then when somebody says that's ridiculous, you say that, that they're being... that they're making a scene. These are the type of people that's a one where... Style. These are the type of people where say you went home and you found a gun on your table. You don't know how it got there. Maybe someone who came over left it there or something. And you went to go, like, dispose of it or turn it into your police department. And someone sees you holding it and they go, I thought you hated guns. Oh, I, I, I guess you suddenly don't hate guns. Like, they have no idea what's actually going on. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> they just have no perspective. They just have a perspective, not any fucking information or clarity or context or anything. We're sounding a bit circle jerky now, boys. We're That's sounding right. Just this like podcast uh -oh. is great. I'm the Gaming best. circle jerk. Yeah, you're right, though. Um, <laughs> let's see what else we got. We got an ad, ad uh, about, let's see. What else do we have? Kaya, if we need to look for new things, I think we can apply for a job. Or maybe right. even hire people for our jobs. What? The possibilities are endless, and it's because we use ZipRecruiter. Isn't <gasps> that right, Jackson? Yeah, it is right. Tell me about it, Andrew. God damn it. Listen, ZipRecruiter, it's going to help you... It's going to help you find the two-way street known as the job market. Do you want people to work for your job? Do you want to look for jobs? Do you want to post out there what you can do and find a job? Does the word job tickle your fancy in any way? Then you should head on over to ZipRecruiter to have them send your job out to over 100 of the web's leading job boards. They'll use powerful matching technology and scan thousands of resumes to find people with the right experience and invite them to apply for your job. ZipRecruiter is so effective that four out of five employers who post on there get a qualified candidate within the first day. Right now, you can all try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive website. That's you. You probably know what it is. You guys are smart cookies who watch this show. ZipRecruiter.com slash official. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash official. O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L. ZipRecruiter.com slash official. Post your job up so you can do it for you. Look at other jobs. Get the economy going. It's Get a, a good job, thing. you bum. Yeah. Yeah. 
pay your rent. But do yeah, it you can also someone... post your job on ZipRecruiter, so if you need a job yeah. done. Get someone to pay your rent with ZipRecruiter. All right. Nice. Next. Oh, uh, next. Let's see what else we got. Have you guys seen this news about the... Uh, I don't know why I'm asking. Charlie, I know you have the chick who got decapitated by some incel. Do you want to lead this <laughs> Very one? Very recent. <laughs> mm, not really. I think it's a really sad topic, to be honest. I don't think there's a whole lot to... To really break apart there, I hate we the made fucking fun incel community. Of a kid who died and didn't get a Spider-Man tombstone, but this is too touchy for you. Well, yeah, because I we used to laugh at incels like back when they were harmless lunatics, but now they're yeah. like harmful lunatics, and it's just kind of sad. It's like uh, having a friend is yeah, definitely I, an incel. I don't, I don't think that's a good argument either. There were always harmful people in that group. It's just whether or not it was public. I don't, I you know, guess. it's, it's I, like I making recall. it's like making fun of Nazis and shit. It's like there are definitely ones who do horrible things, but you're still laughing at the big group. Yeah, because they're pathetic. Yeah. That's the whole exactly. Joke. Pathetic exactly. I guess that's fair. I yeah. guess it just I guess it just felt like a lot worse because Kai and I like we were ground zero of discovering this like ex, like this oh, really endangered group of losers. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's we now. Kaya. Back when I came we, at you with kicks passion we. clips. You were like, Kaya, why are you obsessed with these people? Nobody cares okay, well, about these guys. And then the mainstream just media another, jumped another on him. Another case of Kaya manipulating Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Now trying I to discredit me now. See, I was the indie, the hipster. I discovered, I thought incels were interesting before everyone else did. And then CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, they, they saw the gold mine and they decided to make documentaries. I think BBC is now making a documentary about them. None, of course. Yeah, did Kaya than... get any credit? No, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> yeah. Despicable. Despicable. Ridiculous. No, but for seriously, though, the, the, the incels just got so boring. It got... It became like the word neckbeard, where any guy online just gets called a neckbeard if you disagree with anyone on Twitter or Reddit. And incel went that road. And if you go into their forums now, they switch the URL up every 10 minutes because they keep getting banned from places. They're just not that interesting anymore. I don't know. They went to, I don't know, just mainstream, man. I don't want to, I'm trying not to sound like a hipster, but yeah, they're just overdone at this point. We get it. We get your motivation. Holy shit. Most of you are sixes or sevens, at least a five in terms of looks, and there you are sitting bitching about women not giving the time, giving you the time of day. This guy who cut this girl's head off, so the news is that this one, I don't know, some online chick, I don't even know what she did, I guess she was an Instagram model or something. No, she she wasn't, I, I don't think she was anything significant like that, she didn't have like a job. Anything or, significant she, like an Instagram model? Well, she was definitely, no, she, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I meant like she didn't have a specific job to do with the internet, oh, yeah. she was just an individual on the internet. Okay. And from what I had heard, she had met this dude through Discord and they started some kind of Discord relationship, mm. not not necessarily a romantic relationship, but some kind of friendship. He expected more. He didn't get what he wanted. And then he turned into the typical raging well, lunatic. Don't, don't, don't so. give away fake information. That's not what happened. The guy was a family friend of the family. And uh, I don't there's no details about what drove him to do it. But then he went and killed her. It wasn't just like a Discord meet thing. He so was a family friend. That's what I heard, heard to or read on Kiwi Farms, where are these people who are more artist, autistic than even I am, and they always dox people and find out the information about shit. So her own sister, apparently this chick's sister, said that this guy was a family friend. He even met the mother of the girl, and then he went up and did this, yada yada. I went to this guy's Instagram, where I saw screenshots of it. He looks like a 17-year-old Chris Angel, basically. You can tell he listens to a lot of emo core, scream core. He's like this relic from the 90s. It's weird to see somebody like that still in this day and age. I don't even know if he's an actual incel, because he's all muscular, he's not bad looking. I guess he just had mental problems, man. He's just a piece of shit. Yeah, just a big old piece of shit. And then the incels made it like a celebration day. They did. I'd fuck it. Yeah, it's and fucking gross. I want to read this one. The only news article that I could find about this says, um, Homicide not far from Boilermaker course delays start of race. 
So the lead in here into this story is that this girl's death delayed a fucking race. It says, a homicide in Utica Sunday morning delayed the start of a Boilermaker weird wheelchair race and then the Boilermaker 15k road race around 15 minutes. So I thought wow. this is this is dumb. Why the fuck are they talking about a race when somebody just died? And I looked up a video of this and here's the news report. Listen until the end here. Um, at the end of Post Street, we're seeing uh, um, your uh, crime scene unit. Uh, what was found here? Uh, we were uh, we received the call for an attempt to locate. Ultimately, that attempt to locate led us here to Post Street, where we located a deceased female and uh, a male with uh, serious injuries who's been transported to the hospital. And right now, we have an active crime scene and a homicide investigation is underway. And you were mentioning that it was a sharp instrument that was used to possibly kill the woman and maybe self-injure the gentleman, or we're not uh, sure? At this point, we, we have an investigation ongoing into what actually occurred. Uh, it appears that all injuries uh, were from a sharp instrument. Um, but. Right now, we're still early in the investigation. And quickly, just the, the reason for the delay in the race. Uh, the reason for the delay in the race was to get uh, emergency services and police personnel to this location. Really? That's Somebody died, right. yeah. and you're asking about the fucking race for wheelchair people? Is that your main concern here, news reporter? You want to know, you want to know the sad truth, though? You want to know the actual truth? What? That's The delayed race is going to affect far more people than this. Think about it. What? What? That, that far more mean. people, far, it's far more relevant to people that the race has been delayed to may, way, way, way more people than that someone was killed. Oh, yeah, I know. That, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, the yeah, news is fine. focusing on it. Yeah, but it, it just seems so douchey to go up and say, oh, you say she was murdered? Couldn't you just have thrown the carcass to the side of the road? Why, like, why, are the, why is the race being delayed, sir? I mean, my family, my children were here for the crippled Daytona 500, as you know, for the wheelchair race. How come? Why? I don't know. I guess I wouldn't ask that question if I was a news reporter. It seems kind of mean. Well, yeah, I don't think yeah, the news reporter tactful, would say what happened to the crippled ways. Daytona 500. I don't think that's how he'd word it. Whatever. I mean, is that really the, the important part of this story? A, a person was just slaughtered and you're worried that your kid gets to race 15 minutes later? Really? That's the big deal. Ah, dickheads. I don't okay. know. It's just a very sad situation all around. Can we move on to a fun incel thing? The uh, the hero from the bagel shop. Oh, let's do that. He's next not week an incel. He was married. Clips. Or sorry, married. not in. Okay, he's not an incel. But have you seen that he is now the absolute just crowning king of the incel community, where they've drawn fan art of him and they're. Writing sonnets oh, yeah. in his name and all that shit. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, are you gonna describe it? Do you want? Do we want to talk uh, about this or so save it for a bonus or something? I, I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people have seen what's already happened, but there's a couple of viral videos floating around of a uh, a pretty small man who is hmm. at a bagel shop who is throwing a little temper tantrum. It's that's the best I can describe it. He is he is just throwing anger out left and right. There's a bunch of muddled details on why it started. Like, apparently there were girls who couldn't hear him or when they were taking his order, whatever. And he's just going around the shop going like, you know, oh, fuck, you chatty little girls and you bullshit and this and that. You always saying, you know, you're too small. Get off okay. of my dating sites. You're too small for dating websites. And one of the women's like, no one said that to you, sir. And he's like, well, they say it on the dating sites. And it's it's very clear that the man is just throwing his misplaced anger left and right until eventually the uh, the climax of this story is a man probably about over six feet tall, <laughs> relatively large, walks up and fucking football tackles him to the ground. A man who's about five feet and just starts talking down to him like a little baby going, you, you do not talk to people like that. You do not speak to these women like that. And Was I said, he's let me, uh, <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> let me play this clip because I find his voice to be funny, too. So like you said, oh, yeah, five yeah. feet tall, chubby guy. He's at Bagel Boss and he's yelling like an angry chihuahua at everyone around him. The great, why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. Who said that to you here? Nobody. The women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? <laughs> Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. 
Shut your mouth. You're not God or my father or my boss. So there he is threatening. <laughs> Dude, he's threatening a big outside? guy. You want to step outside? Huh? You're not <laughs> God or my father. No, no, I know. You shut up, too. Shut the fuck no. up. Go ahead and attack me, big dog. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, he gets attacked. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I just I didn't want to play the whole thing, but it's just 45 seconds, and God, fuck, is he funny? So yeah, he's. So, has he turned into a bit of a celebrity now after that? He yeah, has he been actually, rewarded? He has. On incel them, I mean, it's not the good kind of celebrity. <laughs> Stardom. It, is he st has he started to be nice and apologize for oh, his God, actions, no. or is he just doubling down? No, so okay. the, the insults call him Saint Bagel Cell. Uh, <laughs> Saint Bagel Cell? They are, That's very creative. Uh, treating him as the martyr for the cause of short men, which is... Look, I, I, don't, I didn't like a lot of the replies to this on Twitter and on YouTube or whatever, where people went, oh, you know, guys, height doesn't matter, and this and that... It, you know, somebody saying that women don't care about a man's height is one of the more shameless things you could possibly say. That's a fucking lie. We all know it. But that doesn't give you the right to have a meltdown in the middle of a food store at the cashier because you, you perceived that she was giggling at you. Yeah. Just wear weird shoes like Charlie does. Yeah. <laughs> or just stretch your legs out in all your photos. Just change your aspect ratio in public. <laughs> that would make him look normal because he's a little chubby too yeah. uh, his name is Chris Morgan a 45 year old divorced childless cleaning company owner from Long Island uh, he claims he asked for his order three times but the girl behind the counter claimed she couldn't understand him Morgan described women as being gold digging liars before proclaiming he was the modern Martin Luther King of short people <laughs> <laughs> what does that what does that what does that mean he has a dream to be, to be taller Mar Martin Luther <laughs> Martin Luther King really loved eating bagels yeah I mean again I, I get where the guy's coming from and I, apparently he, had, yeah. he used to have a YouTube channel where he would just pick fights with people over mundane shit but one of the clips I noticed he walks into this Looks like a gas station, I don't know, like a 7-Eleven type of deal. He goes in there and he the video starts with him saying, Why why did you laugh at me for being short? Or something along those lines. And the cashier oh. doesn't deny it. The cashier kinda is just smirking. I think he said, I came in here and the first thing you said to me, you didn't even say hello, you just said, How tall are you? And you laughed at me. And the cashier doesn't deny it. He's just smirking back, laughing, saying, Sorry, dude, I didn't mean it like that, or whatever. So I kind of well, get it. Well, the cashier it. sounds like a douche, too. Jesus, yeah. that's a really mean thing to say. <laughs> yeah, see, so I get that. Like I said, it's it's an absolute yeah. bullshit claim to say that nobody cares about a guy's height and it must be really fucking rough to be five feet. I mean, but, you can tell in how he speaks and the way he acts that it's just this is something that's been going through his whole life. Like, mm -hmm. it, this isn't the first time he's ever been called out on his height or you know mocked in any like th it just tells this is the boiling over point of a man who's had to deal with this for literally years and years yeah yeah but if you're if you're that short you want to make up for it in other ways <laughs> though surely you want like you, what i'm trying to say is you don't want to be short and short of honor at the same time kind of thing like you want to make up oh, for jackson, it. jackson that's you so be poetic charismatic. oh that's so nice they should put it on his tombstone <laughs> his little tombstone what, short yeah. yeah, no, I was short, short, of, short of one of Next to Spider-Man. He is a dick. I don't know. He is an asshole, and I feel like a lot of the people replying to him are, are an asshole, too, but it's still one of my new favorite videos. I'm just raging this angry little grape, this fucking little prune, <laughs> this chubby little midget. And I watch an interview with him. He went on some show, and the host is... The host is black and he tried to make it about himself like, dude, you, you know, you started yelling at a cop. If it if that was me, I'm black. You know, the cop would have been the cop would have felt threatened by me and shot me. You're privileged because you got away with yelling at a cop. You're a big black man. This is a fat midget. <laughs> of course, you're not going to get treated the same. You know, the, the threat you represent is different here. <laughs> this guy, he's angry because nobody takes him seriously. 
That's a funny no, thing about it. I know, I know why he's angry. I know exactly why he's angry. It's because he's not wearing the perfect pair of jeans. Well, what jeans is he why he's small. For? I mean, he's just he needs to obviously use Express Clothing's pair of jeans because Express can help you find the perfect pair of jeans that you want to wear for every style, every size. More sizes and styles than ever before. In fact, Express Jeans will have the perfect pair for you. Everyone wants to wear jeans. Think about legitimately throughout history and God knows how many cultures where jeans have just been the staple, the most popular pants, just everywhere. And you know that you're going to find the perfect pair of jeans with Express Clothing. You can find out what fits you if you go right now to Express. They are offering the listeners of this podcast an exclusive yeah, exclusive limited time offer in stores and online. You can get $20 off any one pair of Express Jeans using the code 9991 at checkout in stores or online. Go to express.com, use promo code 9991 at checkout. Express.com, promo code 9991. That's $20 off. A nice pair of jeans. And you can even use it in the store, so that way if you're looking online, go, oh, you know, this, I don't know if it'll fit me or look good on me. You can literally go to their big, fancy, full-body mirrors, look at your cute ass in those jeans, and say, yep, $20 off for me. Exclusions apply. $20 off. Express.com. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Nice. Good shit, pants. So... Do you guys want to talk about the story that's on everyone's mind, though? Hmm. Um, no, true. Are we marching on Area 51 or what? Oh, yeah, I didn't look into that. So what is that about? I think it's just a joke. I have no fucking clue. Is it just a joke or are they actually planning on marching on Area 51? Area 51 is a giant It's a massive joke and then it's a massive joke and then there's going to be like 50 people who actually do it and it's going to be really underwhelming and boring. (laughs) They're just going to be mowed down. Yeah. Well, no, (laughs) here's exactly what's going to happen. There's going to be hundreds of thousands of people right now going, I'm going to do it. I'm going to march on Area 51. I'll be there, my friends. And then as it gets closer and closer and closer, the hype will die down. And then eventually on the day it's supposed to happen, there will be like 50 50 people who walk up and a government guy is going to say, uh, you guys can't be here. You have to go home. And they'll be like, we did it, guys. We got went to Area 51. Yay. And then everyone will forget about it a month later. I, I, I don't understand what the purpose is of setting a date so far ahead anyway. The military is just going to move all their hidden aliens to a new <laughs> reef like Area 52. Yeah. Yeah. What's the fucking point? That too. That's a good point. I didn't even think of that. It's not even it's organized not like the, and uh, secret. It's hidden from the army. If Area, yeah. th- if Area 51 really, in fact, has aliens or what the fuck ever, th- you're making this plan as public as possible. They'll just hide it in the fucking safe while you're there. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, they just let everyone in just for like a private tour and then just move everything. I mean, what the fuck? Even if people are serious about it, what the fuck do they think is going to happen? Do you think the government is just going to say, oh, well, you know, there's that's a lot of you guys. Come on in. Yeah, we get tours all the time. Please take a shirt. We can't believe the Russians didn't try this. (laughs) Yeah. Why didn't they just just ask politely? I'm I'm just wondering if they're thinking they're going to catch the U.S. military pants down in the middle of the desert just modifying pimping some alien ride you know one of those skinny aliens is going to be standing there oh, oh shit there they are oh no i thought they were coming at 3 p.m <laughs> they're just they're just <laughs> on the air like the uh what do you call it the air pad the air what do you call it the fucking the runway the runway at area 51 just hanging out oh. i, don't I know. mean do you, do you guys do you guys believe that area 51 is actually what it's cracked up to be, like a hidden alien hotspot? Mm, nah. I yes. Will. Not not even close, no. I, I think, think it's so. just, uh, like, for experimental aircraft. It I is. Think that's, it's been fully that's... declassified for years, what they actually do there. It's just you can't go and look because it is secret oh, it's, prototypes. Oh it's, oh, it's declassified, is it? So you believe what the government puts out there by themselves, Andrew, you fucking stooge? Hmm? You Zionist shill? You're gonna make us believe the government isn't hiding the greys? I that's mean, what I, they call I them, think, right? Uh, yeah. That's what they call one of the few aliens where they're like, oh, look, it's proof. Uh, Grays, the greens, the little men. 
Yeah, is that the greys, the stereotypical alien imagery yeah. of the big-eyed Gr- grey ones? Greys are the stereotypical ones. It's a bit ones. of a bigoted way of looking at aliens, but yeah, the greys are about <laughs> Char- Charlie's a full MIB operative. <laughs> <laughs> you know the public relations lingo that's very bigoted. Not all greys collect uh, what, welfare. I want- I, Kaya, I want you to be talking about the Greys and Charlie, fresh from the fucking academy, walks up and goes, hey, that's their word. You can't say that. <laughs> you can't use the G word, though. <laughs> Only alien Americans, you can use the G word. <laughs> I'm very, and then he, he talks to his watch. I'm very sorry about that, Gern Blopskin. It'll never happen again. <laughs> I don't, it's just, I, I don't know. It, uh, are we actually really discussing if we believe in aliens or not? I, just, I think it's so <laughs> well, bad aliens. stupid. I don't think there's yeah, anything I at Area 51. In aliens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I I believe there absolutely could be extraterrestrial can, life, but I don't think we're hiding any at Area 51. I've actually got some classified information that my father has green-lighted <laughs> me to, to share with you. <laughs> if you're interested, that is. If you think you can oh, handle sure. it. All right, we all right. should, yeah, we should, we should talk about your dad. I don't think we ever brought that up. I can I handle know, the truth. Was, we'll we'll bring right. that up well, after. Is, what's the, the, what's the info? What the hell is this information? What? Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, what's get, the get info? Get the pipe out and take a seat by the fireplace, boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through something here that my dad shared with me the other day. So, my dad used to be roommates. He used to live with a guy that was a close friend of his who eventually became a, a high-ranking officer in the military. He oversaw uh, an entire military base. I don't want to give it away because my dad doesn't want like it to lead back to him. It was but anyway, it did. So it wasn't. already it was you a, sound like Alex Jones. I used to know this guy. Yeah. It, the information is out there. You can look it up. You know, I used to know this alien guy in high this, school. <laughs> I'm just saying my father roomed with the guy who became a very high ranking member of the military, Lieutenant Colonel. His name, I what looked into name? him. Prove he, it. Well, I, I looked into it myself. He did exist. He did oversee a base. And he did know my dad. They, I don't know if they roomed together. That could have been fabricated. But my mom also knew him. Wait, what? Did, him knowing your dad was on the military report? No, no, no. Like, he had pictures with my dad. Oh, okay. At Area 51. So, well, I <laughs> With <wish>. aliens. <laughs> yeah, but, hanging around with him. <laughs> so he oversaw... That great fuck the Charlie's op- mom. That explains <laughs> the legs. <laughs> <laughs> So please, well, if you're Charlie, gonna make, if you're make a mockery of my father's story, Kai, I can stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I want, I'm sure this is real. Go ahead. <laughs> please okay. continue. So according to my dad, he would often like pry into like trying to get military shit because my dad was always interested in like aircrafts and shit going on military wise. But you can't share that kind of shit. So he never really got much out of it. And the guy, he was like a pretty hardened, tough guy. He actually led one of Afghan's first missions from the U.S. to uh, Afghan to capture some dude. It ended in failure, and then shortly after, he retired. And during his retirement, my dad prodded him a bit further because my dad's always been super interested in aliens. And I think as a joke, he was just asking about aliens and shit. And the guy told my dad that he... At one point in his career, while overseeing that military base, did sign off on a transportation of some otherworldly shit, is what he disclosed to my father. And since then, my dad has firmly believed in the existence of aliens in our military. (laughs) So let's let's give also a bit more context to your dad, because I think this is an interesting angle on it. Charlie's dad is super, super into aliens to the point where Charlie, you can correct, you can correct me if I'm wrong. He believes the pyramids were built by aliens, unironically. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's to a reliable a really? source. Yeah, like, like, I'm, not, I'm not wrong. He said that, right? <laughs> he didn't say that, but to a certain extent, he thinks the aliens had a hand in teaching them. <sighs> Fuck. So. Okay, did did your dad's secret friend that no one has ever seen, that no one has ever seen a photo of or knows the name of? <laughs> well, Charlie is, said he saw a photo of them. Yeah, Charlie yeah. says, yeah, okay. He, Charlie said he confirmed he was a real person in the military, yeah. Wait, sure. so now we can't even trust Charlie. So are, is one of the Area 51 experiments a chewing gum called Blue Chew? Hmm. I'm not sure. You'd have to tell me about it. I don't know, I'm not, I got neuralized. Andrew, do you remember? Well, it's not a chewing gum. Oh. 
<laughs> fuck. <laughs> I gave you the fucking thing to make sure you had it right. No, I know. Ladies just, and ah, fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, enough talk about aliens in Area 51 and secrets. Because let me tell you something. There's not a lot of secrets when it comes to having great sex. And that's why, if maybe you're not getting that great sex that you need, you can look, look into Blue Chew. It's blue, like the color. And that's how you can remember it. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable that has the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. So you'll know that they work. You can take them anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. And since they're chewable, they work up to twice as fast as any pill. So you can be ready to go whenever the opportunity arises. <laughs> uh, oh, I get it. Arises like a penis. Obviously. Yes. Yeah, I get erections. It. <laughs> you can increase your performance, get extra confidence in bed with Blue Chew. It's prescribed online and shipped straight to your door in a discreet package. So no in-person doctor visit, no waiting at the pharmacy and no more awkwardness. And getting that little thing that you need. Right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. You can visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code OFFICIAL. Just pay the $5 shipping. That's B L U E C H E W.com, promo code OFFICIAL, to try it for free. It's better, cheaper, and faster than every other choice out there. And we want to give him a big old you're, thank you're you. You're telling me you can literally get a free boner from using this service? That's fucking great. <laughs> for, for, free bur for free boners, go to bluechew.com and use promo code official. Dude, you can't, <laughs> uh, you can't invade Area 51 all limp and soft. Yeah. Oh, man, I would love to see the people who signed that petition just storming the base with all erections. <laughs> oh. All full mast. It's an you have to open the gate. Should have infiltrated the Facebook group and sold them these pills as like anti force field pills. If you take these, you can see all through all the ruse of the American government. <laughs> with, a, <laughs> with a full heart on at the same time. <laughs> yeah. They're Just made a side in the effect. USA. They're made in the USA. They ship direct, cheaper than the pharmacy. That's bluechew.com, promo code official to try it free after you pay shipping. All right. Yeah. Uh, do we have any other pressing topics, or should we do our 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 shticks, our things? Uh, well, Andrew, I have to ask yeah. you, and I want to be honest. Yeah. Did you kick any puppies this week? Uh, no, not not in my immediate memory. No. Okay, I'm just asking because almost every single voicemail this week was hating on you. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> All right. I'm good we to got know. a few. Aww. I want to play them for you. Uh, I thought these, sure. some of these were, were entertaining. So this is somebody who is talking about your laugh and the picture of it. Andrew, your laugh pisses my wife off because I laugh hysterically when you're having a near asthmatic episode laughing. <laughs> so to be fair, I was editing one of these episodes, but I think the Doug and Anthony bonus episode we have on our Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Andrew, at some point I came across one of your laughs, a couple of seconds, mm -hmm. where I had to apply special editing to it to make it listenable, because Discord does this by default, it applies some compression to it, so we don't notice this while we're recording, but when I listen back to your track that you yourself recorded, I had to apply an equalizer and a compressor to your laugh so it wouldn't hurt my ears. <laughs> so here's a clip <laughs> of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was really hey, I, got the, I love it I, I got the cough in there to give it some texture well your gain is so hot love. you're clipping all over the place in the first place so it was really loud really high pitched so I guess I could kind of understand where people are going from and before anybody says oh you know Kai you took that out of context to make fun of Andrew and you know you, mu you must have edited that laugh and oh I'll, I'll go ahead and vouch for you no you didn't I know for a fact I, I still have didn't. to prove myself here's the in context clip of your laugh clean up your act Joker oh that's a joke right Batman finally told a joke <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, no shenanigans. 
That was really, oh, that was really well done. <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> that was so well done. I'm, that was I'm very really excellent. <laughs> it's all reality. Um, this guy is telling you to stop blowing your mic or something. Let's see. I just want to say, Andrew, get that fucking mic out of your throat, man. Man. I'm sorry to enjoy the podcast without having my fucking eardrum blasted every 12 seconds by your fucking deep throat with a mic. That's all I wanted to call it for. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Well, he said you should need to stop deep throating your mic. Andrew, there were so many of these. And there's some nice ones too, but I said I actually said in on this episode of the voicemail special, I had to listen to these live. Kind of was funny, mm -hmm. but here's one. I just called this clip Andrew should kill himself. That's not my commentary, that's the description. Send in dog. And if you man. want to say that Andrew should fucking kill himself on the official podcast. You should do it live. You should do it while everybody is listening to him. And if he does it, I want him to find me. I want his lawyer to find me and sue me for his suicide. <laughs> Thank you. What? That was a loud word. This That's man just wants one. to be sued more so than you killing yourself. I know. I guess. So, I kill yourself and then find a lawyer to sue him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it in my. I'll put it in my last will. I'll. I'll just put this. It's this fucking guy's fault. All right. Guy, and well, wait. Did he did he leave like contact info on there? How the fuck are we supposed to find him? Oh, uh, um. I mean, Doug has his number. Yeah. If you called into this show, you can oh, that's see fair. people's numbers. So, unless he's yeah. using a burner phone, we could find him. If you want to kill yourself right now, that that is another another level of stardom. If you buy a burner phone to call in and leave me angry voicemails, just so you can't <laughs> be tracked back. <laughs> Uh, this guy claims you don't know how to take a joke and you're the worst person on planet Earth. Uh, if I was ever on the show and I got to the things we like corner, I definitely wouldn't say Andrew. Andrew's definitely the worst person on the podcast and the worst human being on the world. Um, mainly because Andrew doesn't know how to take a fucking joke. And he can't stand up for himself like a man. I mean, last episode, someone called in, ripped it on him. And you could tell he got all high and mighty trying to defend himself. Andrew, it's the fucking internet. Just grow up and take it like a man. <laughs> and then he's all like, oh, my DM box is open. DM me, bro. Let's talk about this face to face. No, don't fucking let him DM you, Andrew. Just fucking stand up and take it, you fucking pussy ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's fucking pathetic. How much expensive have you got? All right. Anyway, keep up the great work, guys. And, uh, I'll be listening. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't let him DM you, bro. That's a clip I want to see. I'm confused. Do I do I not know how to defend myself, or do I not know how to take a joke? Both, I guess. I guess, yeah. That was fun, though. Like I said, I, yeah. I enjoy these far more than the than the kind of voicemails where it's all sweet, like and whatever. <laughs> but I, I still, I, I have two of those two just to make you feel better, Andrew. So here's somebody kind of getting hard on for you. Oh wow. wow. Andrew is a fucking unit. God damn he's a fucking beautiful man. Why didn't you go to college? like I didn't go to college for like football or something? Yeah, dude. Go to play go football. Go to football college. Go to, get it get a yeah, degree can, in is football. A, is it an actual thing? People go to colleges with scholarships for football. Yeah. Right? That's that's more what it is. You go to a yeah. school but you you are just there to play on the college team for the most part, and then your classes are what the fuck ever. Yeah, and it, but right. thank you. I'm, if I'm you're, a big boy. If you're lucky, you can get a scholarship from what I understand. This guy calls you a sweetheart. <laughs> I just want to let Andrew know that he should not listen to anyone that's making fun of him. Granted, his voice is the most irritating thing on the fucking planet, oh. but <laughs> oh, I, I don't think he should take that to heart. He's a fucking sweetheart, and I love him. All right, good night. <laughs> I love the little How kiss nice at of the him. end. <laughs> Andrew, I think your voice is beautiful, just so you know. I, I I guess I'll assuage any any fears that people might have for me or wanting to defend me. I like myself a lot. I have very high <laughs> self-esteem. <laughs> so don't do not worry about me getting down from all this or, or ever actually feeling bad. I, I I'm great and you're great and this show is great. So thank you. I like that. Uh, yeah. I like yeah. myself a lot too. Uh yeah. Jackson, this guy doesn't like you. Or generally no. speaking, he doesn't. <laughs> no, I can't take it. He doesn't Please, like Australians. I don't, Australians. I don't like see. myself. Yeah, go on. Okay. 
Um, to the official boys, Charlie, I've been watching you uh, forever since before my balls dropped, and that's uh, pretty sad. Uh, Andrew, you're okay. You know, you sound like a furry, which I, whatever. <laughs> um, Kai and Jackson, you're both pretty cool. You know, I, I usually don't like Australians <laughs> in podcasts, but you're pretty fucking funny. I don't that know. Was, that's a, that was nice. Aww. That's a thing. I, yeah, I usually don't like Australians. <laughs> so wait, wait. Let's, Did an Australian fuck his girlfriend or something? What happened there? <laughs> let's reanalyze that, that voicemail, Kai. You said he it was saying nice things about us. All he complimented was Charlie, and then the rest of us, he's like, yeah, you're okay, too. You're fine. Oh, what? Oh, what? Sometimes that's the best we can hope for, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he... Okay, so if you want one that's insulting Charlie, here's a literal four-second clip. Charlie is ugly as fuck. But I still love him. <laughs> oh! And, um... Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, that's just all the mean. guy left. Yeah. Well, at least it was concise. Yeah. I don't, I don't think, I think Charlie, whether you see him having bad qualities or not, he is definitely not an ugly man. Not at all. That was wholesome, Andrew. You're not an ugly man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I agree. You're not a... Yeah, Charlie, uh, like, I don't even see that being rational, though, because Charlie, you could say things about him, whatever, but he's definitely an attractive person. Like, that That doesn't even register. That's just dumb. Maybe, maybe that caller is like a calf person. He has a calf fetish. Mm. I don't know. Like yeah. a calf's in... <laughs> Portrait mode? No, not portrait. Um, what's, what's, what is it from the side, Charlie? <laughs> profile. 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 He has like a calf profile fetish. Thank you. Um, I thought profile was straight on. Are you sure that's, that's not shot. straight on? No. Yeah, profile is the side. Yeah, profile is the side. Portrait is front. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> portrait, portrait is the photo is vertical and then landscape is it's horizontally oriented. You know what I'm I have a, I, I have a clip I called super nice voicemail. I don't know. Do we want something nice? Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. You guys are soft. Uh, hey, this is David. I'm from the U.S. and uh, I'm from the official podcast. But I actually decided I would check out you guys' stuff, and I'm uh, really enjoying it. Your guys' stuff is really cool, and you guys seem like really get cool guys and awesome dudes. <laughs> and uh, also, shout out to Jackson, Andrew, Charlie, and Kaya. Uh, you guys make my day every day. <laughs> um, just by listening to your shit, uh, Andrew and Charlie, your streams are a lot of fun. And Jackson, when you occasionally stream, I like to pop in. Uh, and just thank you guys so much. Same to you, Doug and Anthony. You guys, this shit is awesome. Uh, Hope y'all have an amazing day. What a fucking that sweetheart. Awesome. That, that was very, very awesome sweet. Boy. Thank you, David, from yeah. the U.S. We'll find you. He yeah, gave us a lot you. of info to go off of. That was, that was sweet. It is sweet. That was very nice. Yeah, thanks, man. That was very nice. That made me feel good. Um, so, hmm. I, do you guys consider me a bully? Yeah. Yeah, probably. What do you want us to answer? <laughs> well, the chat is... Okay, well, the chat is against me, I see. <laughs> I, I like to think that I am not, but I've been told that for the past two episodes, I've been forgetting to give out a voicemail number so people didn't know where to call into. Uh, thankfully, Doug is correcting them in this episode, so here's the number for anybody who wants to call in, and here you go. So I've had a problem with bullying and bullies my whole life. I I don't like the way that that people can just come in and muscle throw their names around, throw their weight around, whatever, and then make, make our lives hard just because he's a big, bad podcaster. <laughs> one of the things that, one of the things that I would ask people to do is to a way to stop bullying is to call the voicemail. That's all you got to do. 508-974-4489 and say, Die, you fat fuck. <laughs> that is not edited in any way. <laughs> that definitely sounds edited in every way. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Doug, uh, if, if people want to call you a fat fuck, wh wh where should they call? 508-974-4489. Oh, okay. Thank you, Doug. You can leave now. This is not edited. This is not staged or prepared beforehand. <laughs> Are you going to do like a Joker laugh for Doug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. Shit, I should have. You're right. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the voicemails. I'm 
looking. Oh yeah, uh, Anthony wanted to ask, wanted me to ask you guys if any of you would be down to go on their show. Depends on when, really. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it uh, it's a general question. Like, would you be down oh, at all? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. ab yeah. absolutely. I think the answer is yes from all of us. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. I'll put you guys in touch then. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, look, call me an asshole. Call the solidarity autist. I call myself the double A, the alcoholic autist. I love it when drunk people call into these voicemails and you can tell that they're just drunk out of their minds or they're high. Here's a drunk guy who called into the Who's Right podcast, but he can't figure out who he just called. <laughs> wait, no, no, no. Who's Right podcast? Wait. Who's fucking podcast? Is this the official pod? No. <laughs> I want the official podcast. God damn it. Uh, I'm going to assume this is going to the official podcast. <laughs> and if not, get this to the official podcast. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, and he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> he got scared. <laughs> he, he sounded like Mario when he falls down a pit in Mario 64. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I love these. I, I can't lie. It's I know it's banal and there's no depth to any of these voicemails, but when they call in it, I just like to imagine that somewhere out there, there's an expensive piece of equipment, a server uh, owned by Google or DigitalOcean, whatever, and it's all the potential is being pissed away at storing megabytes upon megabytes of voicemails for our show of people <laughs> who smoked pot and called in. <laughs> uh yeah i think that's it's I, I have one about bathing in milk you know what I, I actually think about i think i'm gonna make a commission a shirt for us about bathing in milk so this might be some good uh advertising for that so i'm gonna play this last clip <laughs> when i go to the chinese restaurant i like to bring jelly beans with me and jam them into my cock hole that was that was it did he shut and down in milk <laughs> <laughs> people really like bathing Wait, milk man did did he insert that windows noise in there i, I don't know if that then? was him. that's when you hang that's when you hang up <laughs> but he came back so, with the milk yeah, how did he do that that was like a magic oh, trick yeah i think that was well maybe i'm wrong dog yeah either oh, way that was when uh, you hung up okay that was it Andrew, you did not this week send me a clip to quiz you on. Oh, oh, bullshit. Oh, I'm telling this story. So Kaya, I, I send him every, every you, week. Is I this going to be him... my fault somehow? <laughs> yeah, you didn't close Fucking your idiots. eyes. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> okay. I send Kaya, I sent Kaya the, our quiz show clip. I send it usually a couple hours before the show or like an hour before the show. And I sent him a good one. It was it was the theme to Mission Impossible Fallout, which is a movie all four of us saw together when they were visiting America. And I thought, oh, mm -hmm. it'd be great. You know, you get the Mission Impossible theme and then a bonus. You guess which Mission Impossible movie. But Kaya looked at the metadata of the clip, which I uh, told him. Andrew, I use VL, I use media players to play these clips. When you put it in, the metadata is displayed. So it immediately showed Oh, this is the Mission Impossible soundtrack. Uh, see, I thought it got overwritten if I renamed it. I didn't know that. Ah, uh, fuck. Fine. Okay, from now on, I'll I'll clear it before I send it. But I I don't I don't think either of us is at fault then if it shows it. No, you and I, I mean, I, you douchebag. I, I, <laughs> I, I, hey, hey, hey. The clip. I remember. It's your I renamed job. it. Why the fuck is I my fault? It. I renamed it. It did okay. not say anywhere on it unless you check. OK, unless you check the metadata, you would have never known what it was. And I didn't know that your player loaded up the metadata for you to see. Oh, every every player does. Andrew, what, what kind of a player do you think I'm using? Some 1993 thing? I mean, I don't know. Well, I'm high tech. OK, it had the metadata, right. so we don't have that. But we do have the things we like corner as we do every week. Here we go. They might seem like cynical dicks So they're going to throw this into the mix Just so you don't think they're dead inside It's the things we like corner Yippee! 
Uh, oh, me. Uh, I am going to, this week, my thing that I like, the thing that I'm bringing to the Things We Like corner, is Jake Gillinghall. I wish I could bring him to the corner. Ooh. That'd be great. He's, he's such a fucking good actor, as well as probably the most attractive actor working in Hollywood. I don't know what it is about him, but he just, he makes, he, he, my heart skips a beat every time I see him. He's beautiful. He was great in um, the new Spider-Man movie. He played a great Mysterio. He did a whole a bunch of Denis Villeneuve movies as well that he was really good in. And he's just great. Jake, if you're out there, call me back. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you, what sparked this on it? What thing did you see him in recently? Oh, me and Charlie just watched um, Prisoners again like an hour ago. I've already seen it. It was Charlie's first time watching it. We watched I it an hour ago it. and it, it kind of just sparked, sparked that Prisoners? love interest for me back up. Yeah. Denis Villeneuve. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was really good. And I predicted everything in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's been in a lot of stuff. All right. He's kind of prolific. He, uh, That's mine. he surprised me in Blade Runner. Yeah, I forgot the name of the movie. Blade Runner was nice. I mean, when I first saw him announced for Blade Runner. Isn't that Ryan Gosling? Well, yeah, that's Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Oh, he's motherfucker. Blade Runner. Well, yeah, never Ryan mind. Fuck, fuck him Blade then, Runner. I guess. <laughs> fuck Jake. <laughs> I mean, Ryan Gosling's also super attractive. Ryan Gosling's I'll incredible, give you that. yeah. Do they look alike? Why did I con just confuse them so much? Uh, they, they look nothing kind alike. Of similar. They're kind not of similar. They're not do, even no, close. They, no, not in terms of looks. They play similar roles, though, in a lot oh, of movies. Oh, yeah. Yo, absolutely. Yeah, I agree they, there. They yeah. kind of look similar. I mean, they, I, they basically have the same hair color and eyes... Almost. No, I don't think I don't think they look that similar. I, I'll be honest. I honestly thought that this was the same guy as in Blade Runner playing the Spider-Man role. <laughs> now I feel like an idiot. Mm. Hmm. Oh well. Andrew. Uh, yeah, I'll just fire this out there. I like cosplaying. I really do. Uh, You're I went to. A furry. Uh, Okay. I went to MetroCon a couple <laughs> days ago. <laughs> uh, I went to MetroCon uh, yesterday, or two days ago. Ugh, lost track of time. And first of all, anyone who recognized me there and said hello, a big old hug and kiss to you. Thanks for saying hello and being cool people. But I dressed up as Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid, and my girlfriend was Isabel from Animal Crossing. And let me tell oh. you, man, there is uh, there is some sweet ass endorphin rush when it comes to people like stopping to take your photo and just hanging out with you and talking about game shit. Like it's 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 a ton of fun to just walk around the venue and people just want to get photos of it and ask about your costume and all that stuff. And I really really liked it. It's the first time I ever actually tried like buying all the pieces and putting the costume together and all that shit. Yeah, for I was something. gonna ask how long how how long and how much effort did it take so to I, build that costume? I didn't even know I was going to the convention until like a week before. So we ordered everything on Amazon in one night and then put everything together the night it arrived. Um, so I think for that, it looks pretty dang good. Um, but it's it's mostly just like I bought tactical fucking equipment on Amazon and like a, a fucking it, it's it's just super simple stuff. The shirt is just a gray Under Armour shirt that we uh, sewed the shoulder pad design into to look more like the sneaking suit he wears and all that shit. Um, so yeah, it, it was kind of great. a last minute thing. And I think for that, it looks pretty dang good. And it's, it's just a lot of fun just dressing up as a character and meeting a bunch of people who just want to either take your photo or want to talk to you about the game or any of that shit. So I'm Juliana uh, killed it as well as oh, Isabella. Her, her Isabella. Isabella's excellent. I'm gonna. I'm not even biased here. There were like three other Isabels we ran into, and she was the yeah, best. Yeah, one. you're not biased. <laughs> 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 you don't want to sleep um, on the couch, you motherfucker. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, I I think she also killed it, and I I like that we had the motif of Smash Brothers going on because there were just so many people that just wanted us together because of that fact. I like it. I saw but the I, photo I, on it. Reddit. I thought it was super cute. It was. A little it suspicious was, that she's fun. an animal. I didn't know the character. I knew that. <laughs> like, I saw it on Reddit, and I, I knew that, okay, so Andrew is Metal, Metal Gear Solid. I, I don't know what she is. Like, is she is she one of the chipmunks? What is this? She's from Animal, is yeah. Okay. Animal Crossing, for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, animal, okay. It's the dog creature thing. Yeah. We're also, they're also both characters in Smash Brothers, so if you've played that, you should be familiar with it without knowing the franchises. Um... 
but yeah, it was it was just a lot more fun than I expected. I kind of expected to just be kind of like a oh, you know, you walk around occasionally, people take your photo, and but, but no, it was just constant people wanting photos and to talk about it and pointing it out and all that shit, and it was great. And uh, I want to do it again in the future. And uh, I guess as a as a little treat for people listening to the podcast, the next one I want to do. We got to figure it out. Is I want her to be Judy Hopps and I'll be Nick Wilde from Zootopia. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty fucking obvious. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I, I really, I really enjoyed doing it, and I'll definitely be doing it in the future. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, we we keep things obvious here. I told her not to talk, just bark. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the thing I like, I guess, is Hunter Hunter. It's an anime. I think it's just really good. It's a lot of fun. All right. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to it. I just enjoy it. All right, Kaya. <laughs> All right, Charlie, cracking <laughs> the seven-minute record there. Yeah, yeah good old one <laughs> sentence, just, Charlie. I, I, I don't know what else to say about it. It's Char just like a pretty Charlie, normal I, anime. I legitimately don't think you've said more than three sentences per any things we like corner. That's not true. He's a very negative. Ep he's a very negative person when it comes to the things he likes. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, you don't like talking about the things you like a whole a whole lot. <laughs> oh, because it's not super deep. I just like Hunter Hunter. It's just a normal anime that I think's good. Uh, yeah, be, I, you, just you think this podcast things. is meant to be deep? Well, I, I don't even know what I could even go on about. It's just an anime. Just an anime. Yeah, I mean, you deserve really. all the hate. You are alt right. <laughs> <sighs> well, I like red wine and vanilla coke. I got a lot of shit. <laughs> I posted what? this on my Snapchat. I said, if you mix vanilla coke with red wine, it makes for a tasty drink, and people just give me so much shit as if I just recommended they drink, I don't know, some sort of cyanide mixture. Why'd you even, why'd you even come across that? Like, why'd you try that? I am a pioneer. I don't know. Why do people invent the atom bomb? Okay, it's yeah, tasty. Yeah, I guess no one, no one asks. Yeah, okay, that's fair, that's fair. It's yummy, it's tasty. Get red wine, try it with vanilla cola, okay? Just give it a shot. It's tasty, it's good. It's do you yummy. like red wine by itself? I do, yeah. Okay, so then you just kind of like... You just like that flavor on its own, then the vanilla Coke I, probably doesn't add too much to it. No, it does. I mean, it, it, it adds the sweetness. You can't mix anything with, with vanilla cola. I mean, <laughs> see, this is how much of a pioneer I am. Now I'm thinking I'm going to mix whiskey with vanilla cola. I have some of the. No, it's never been done before, Kai. Don't go that hard. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking all the rules. We got to go 80 miles per hour, 88, whatever the fuck. Mix, mix all the drinks and travel in time and get drunk. Look, no, just, just trust me. Don't do this as a shot. Put it in a glass, half and half, vanilla Coke, red wine. It tastes sweet. It takes the bite out of the red wine, the little bite that red wine does have. It's a, it's a nice drink. I don't know what the fuck this tell you. I don't know why I got discriminated against this we're, we're, not, we're not arguing with you no 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 not to my snapchat followers you don't get it anytime anyone disagrees with me it's hardcore racism that's that's my <laughs> trump card <laughs> i mean i could i could see it you you get a little fruity addition to the vanilla coke i, I get it i mean a lot of people do like cherry vanilla and orange oh. vanilla i could totally see wine well no i can promise you that the wine doesn't bring anything to the cola and the cola brings the flavor to the wine don't first That's of all possible. don't call it fruity you asshole two it does bring a little bit of flavor charlie it's i don't know what to tell you just try it it's it's a very mild difference but i don't think people should judge before they try they i don't like red wine so i won't try it cheap I ingredients hate red wine. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Okay, whatever. Do you drink Moscato, Kaya? Oh. <laughs> you started a sentence with, Kaya, do you drink? <laughs> no, fair. <laughs> Kaya, God, drink do you drink like a fucking can of urine if I told you it yeah. had an ounce of vodka? Kaya in drinks it. fucking <laughs> radiator fluid and he says it's too weak. If it's by Belle Delphine, oh shit, I was gonna bring that up. That was a topic and I completely forgot. That bitch is now selling, before we wrap this up, I wanna bring up this topic, I guess. She's now selling a tub. Not a tub, but like a little box of her bath water 
for ten thousand bucks. Mm-hmm. Didn't we PP. already talk really about girl yeah. PP. You're late PP. To that. that was PP we, for no, ten thousand. No, we talked about the little thirty milligrams of water that she was selling. She is now selling a whole box of it for ten thousand dollars. I thought she was selling PP for ten thousand. No, that was fake. That's a fake site. Uh, this is yeah, real. Yeah, she'd get in a lot of uh, she'd get in a lot of trouble for selling P. I think. This. What? Why? Because you have to you have P. to sell it with certain restrictions and all she this. She isn't. Stuff. It's, it's, it's a, fake news. Oh my god. No, he's saying that. No, you if would she have were to, to, yeah, if, if she were really selling her P, since it's a bodily, I forgot what the term is, but since it came from somebody, it has to be labeled like a medical specimen or some shit. It, it has a lot more restrictions put on it. But you know, Kai, I agree. It's it's hot girl sells thing to perverted men. Oh wow, more news at ten. I don't know why this is a story or why it took off on the internet. I just all. I think she's cool. I don't know what to tell you, man. She's a she's a brilliant businesswoman, and that's I, really it. Right. I've brilliant. said this before. I think <laughs> yeah. she's a libertarian capitalist hero. She's Ayn Rand's wet dream. I admire the balls on this bitch selling her dirty ass water for ten thousand dollars. Not as if she came up with it. I'm selling a poster for 50,000 bucks, but I haven't been very successful, admittedly, so far. I'm ooh, actually thinking ooh, about taking ooh, down the price. Idea. idea. We should get fucking Belle Delphine to wipe her sweaty vag with the poster <sighs> and we'll give her half the profit. Won't she get pregnant? No. <sighs> we have the same idea. <laughs> we won't tell her this. Come on. It, it would be like the Shroud of Turin. Oh my god. <laughs> what does wow. that mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. What do you Some not know the Shroud artifact? of Turret? Whatever. Point is, it would be the most coveted item in the existence of mankind. Uh, Belle Delphine, if you want to come on the show, reach out, please. I know you, you seem like a smart, savvy, intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> you too, uh, Ariana, Halle Berry, any... <laughs> I, I can't even get through this bits without laughing. <laughs> um, do we? Would you guys be okay with having Vinnie Paulino on the show? By the way, I don't know who that is. Who? Me neither. So Vinnie Paulino is a comedian who is the opening, the opening act for Pete Davidson, who is the opening act for Ariana Grande's ass cheeks, which means I I might, you know. Play some connections, make some build bridges, you know. How how in the fuck would Pete Davidson be your in to his ex? I doubt they keep it. He contact. has yeah. her phone number. <laughs> One of this I'm sure so, she has multiple phones. This is so contrived just for you to fuck a celebrity. A jo- oh, but that is just highly a celebrity? Unlikely. Have you seen yeah. her in a thong? Okay. I mean, I, I mean they, uh, uh, it's just <laughs> he lost his words just thinking I, about I know because early, <laughs> earlier you're like oh Belle Delphine whatever who cares her bath water whatever and then Ariana Grande it's like oh that ass oh I just don't get it yeah well I mean not all women are you born equal love. I don't know what to tell you it just I think it would be nice to have to make some connections and you get think to it know would people. be nice to fuck her maybe in your fantasy world and you want to get as many steps closer to it as you can yeah, what is wrong with that? No, nothing at all. I just, I don't know the guy, so I don't know if I'd want him on the show. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. I'm just saying, we, we are so much closer to being on SNL than we were two days before. Oh, man. We, we should host SNL. They're, pro- they're probably dying for people to come on and actually be funny. We should host an episode of SNL. Isn't, I mean, isn't Pete Davidson sort of a big deal? Isn't he on that show, SNL? Or... Pete Davidson is in a note in his own right a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. He's so not just a, is he in still the though? Of Ariana. Is he still though? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Just not with us, really. Yeah. Why yeah, don't because we just of bring attitudes Pete like this? On? Because of people like Andrew going, Kaya, why do you wanna kiss her like ass cheeks anyway? They're not that nice. Oh, mm. that's that's not what I'm talking about. You, you, I don't know. I feel like you're a compulsive liar. You're lying about right, Ariana me... Grande's asshole. You're lying about Charlie's dad. Kaya, let me ask you a question. Would you buy Ariana Grande's bathwater? No. Oh. I kind of feel like that's that's not true. I feel like if you actually had the chance, you would. Yeah, I feel like you would. Nah. I wish I would, but no. You wish you would? You're too scared to? (laughs) (laughs) No, like, 
I don't know how to describe it. I just I, I wish I wasn't such a scummy scoundrel fuck, but I'm more the kind of guy who pimp her out. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'd be the one selling the bathwater. Yeah. yeah. Well, can't argue with that. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this week's episode of the official podcast. Do we have any last messages or anything? Uh, sign up at patreon.com slash the official podcast. We do these episodes live now on the Patreon, including the bonus episodes. So go there. They're ad free. They are live if you want to uh, tune in for them. And they are early access, which means they go out as soon as we record them, basically. As opposed to the, the usual platforms where there's ads, boring ads, and comes out like four days later. Ooh, don't say that. Check it out. All right, we'll see you next week, everyone. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Bye.